This unit is one of our EX rated stacker drum rotators. So it picks up drums and can tip them into vessels. It has telescopic lift up to 2.5 meters. And it also has this load cell weighing system here. So we can actually weigh the contents of the drum as well. It's on this bracket, so we can actually move it to different positions so we can easily read it. It's pneumatically powered, so we plug an airline into the unit. But let's pick up this first drum and tip it into the vessel. Just position the arms so the bands are in about the right position, top and bottom. Make sure the pads are lined up. And then we have a clamp function here where we can clamp. There's a clamp pressure meter here on the back panel so I can monitor this and I can see now the needle's in the green. So I'm ready to lift the drum. Wheel it forward to the vessel. Just let the bottom of the drum touch the vessel and then we can start the tipping process. Move it a little bit further forward. You can see the sort of lift heights that this unit achieves. As you rotate, just bring it away from the vessel. And then drop it back down to the floor. As soon as the drum's on the floor, we can open the clamp. And for this, we have to press a button here, an operate button and an unclamp button at the same time to open the clamp for safety reasons. Then we can lift the clamp clear of the drum. What we'll do now is we'll go and get the next drum, which is a plastic drum, and we'll tip it into the same vessel. The next drum we're going to pick up is this 200 litre L-ring plastic. So let's do the same thing again. Lift the head. Over the top of the drum. Lower down. And again, when you lower it down, just lower it so it fits between the bands. You can adjust the forward and back. Bring in the clamp again. Again, you monitor this clamp pressure meter. It's in the green. I can see the bands around the drum, so I'm ready to lift. Wheel the unit in until the drum touches the vessel and then start your tip.
again, we could be using our scales here to actually weigh out the contents. You've got control of the rotation, so we can actually just move it around nice and slow, or we can move it faster. Again, leave the, leave the steering straight and just push the unit forward and give it a bit more rotation. Always surprises me how much water is in a 200 litre drum, especially when you're tipping out of the 50 inch ports, 50 mil ports. Again, just wheel forward. Get the last dregs out. I think that's enough. Got rear wheel steering here, so it's very easy to manoeuvre the unit around. And then press our operate button and clamp unlock. This is the control panel of the unit. First thing to notice is the emergency stop. Press this down and we have no power to the unit. Turn so it pops up and we have power. So you want to clamp the drum now. So we press operate and we watch this needle and we pull this back. The needle will settle into the green. So initially it'll go into the red and come into the green. So before we lift the drum, we should look at the drum to make sure it's clamped properly and we should check the needle stays in the green. This shows you you have enough clamp pressure to hold the drum. Then we have lift, we pull to lift. And then to tip the drum, push this one forward. And backwards to return. So on this demonstration of the panel, you can see the clamp does not work without pressing the operate button and we need to bring the drum down to the floor. The drum's now on the floor, so I can press operate and unclamp and you'll see this needle go down. And that's how the system works. We're now looking at the scales display, you can see here the EX symbol and you've got the usual functions, tar and zero and the on off and if I press down on the head you'll be able to see the weight going up and then coming off. So it's very simple and easy to use, make sure you power down the scales when not in use.